Welcome back. For the One is both an action-based child sexual exploitation and sex trafficking prevention organization. Now to inform the community about the issues and how they can combat it, the organization is going to be hosting the Vulnerable No More with the FAM event. Now telling us more about that event, we are joined this morning by the founder of For the One and Vulnerable No More, Toya Kaplan. Toya, it is great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So uh, this is wonderful that we can have this event here in Albuquerque so that folks can get educated. And that's mm -hmm. going to be the key to fighting this, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And this is our fourth event. They're always free. And it is this coming Thursday night, so we're excited. We're down the home run, right, to get down to it. So, sure. and, and this is kind of, I mean, um, obviously the most broadest of questions, but, you know, prevention, I mean, how do we get started? By talking about it in our homes okay. and in the community to start getting more comfortable discussing the issue, knowing about what's happening, and preparing our children for it so we can empower them. So. Yeah. What age is too early to start or not too early to start? Um, honestly, like even at two, there's so many books and resources that can help parents have that conversation, which we have lists of, of course. Um, but two, three years old, you can start talking about body safety and the ways that they can think of in advance to look for tricky people in their lives sure. rather than stranger danger. Um, there's just so many ways to approach it, but we're, we're actually going to walk parents in the community through how to do that Thursday night. Absolutely, and always making sure that they can turn to uh, a trusted adult, especially yes. a parent, mom and dad, right? Correct, and have a list of those adults already in their minds of who is a safe person to talk to. Absolutely. How can the community get involved? Well, we very much want people to spread this information about the event on Thursday, but come, come to this event. Come in person, watch on live stream. Um, so that's the, the main thing is to begin everybody talking about this so that we get out ahead of these predators. Yeah. What do folks need to bring with them to the event? Themselves. That's it. And children 11 and up are welcome to come. Okay. It's because some of the information is for that little bit more grown up age group. Um, but just show up and they will need to register okay. either live streaming or in person. They need to register for that by following the links I believe we've provided for y'all. Mm -hmm. How has this event grown over the last no, uh, few years? Uh, now? We initially were um, exclusively or at least 90 percent in the lane of um, preventing sex trafficking. Um, had a home for three years for survivors and as this child sex, sexual exploitation uh, part of it has blown up, especially since COVID, mm -hmm. um, we have shifted our organization under a broader umbrella of child sexual exploitation. So we still talk about trafficking, but we need to talk about sex torsion and we need to talk about child pornography and just make the community aware of how it's coming in. And then at the base of it all, we've either got a male or a female, a boy, girl, man, woman, who is exploiting and abusing our children. Yeah. How do we address that? That's what we're going to talk about. Cut it off at the pass and, and do anything and everything. Prevent. In prevention, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Where can we find more information online? Um, it's for the one dot one okay. is our website. That's where you get more information. It's also how you register for the event. All right, some great information and great information that's going to be discussed at that event. And once again, the location for it? It is at New Covenant Church. Okay. Doors open at 6. The event starts at 6.30. It's only an hour and a half. Okay. Lots of information. All right, Toya Kaplan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it.